So in today's video, this is going to be a first look and impressions of the brand new Mouse Limitless 5.0 series cases and the Clarity cases for the S23 Ultra. Now I haven't seen any videos on YouTube yet, so I figured people are going to be looking for cases because their phones are coming through very soon. So what better way than me to show you the cases. I don't currently have the S23 Ultra, so if you're looking for that kind of content, that's not this video. But you will get to have a first look at the cases. We're going to go through some things that have been changed, things that have been improved, and what might sway you to get a mouse case instead of something else. So before I show you the cases, anything you see in the video here will be in the description box below. And if I have any discount codes for you to get an extra discount off any of the items, I will leave them in the description box below as well, as well as the comments box. So keep an eye on that. And let's have a look. So. I have got the Limitless 5.0 series cases and the Evolution case here, as well as the Clarity 2.0 cases. So let's take a look at the Limitless 5.0 first. One thing you'll see straight away, if you ever watched my video of the S22 mouse cases, S22 Ultra mouse cases, you would know that they had some teal blue buttons. Very similar, or probably the exact same buttons as you have on the Evolution case here, these blue ones. And although it looked cool at first, it really took away from the minimalistic look the case gives and then it, it really stood out on the sides. So I was a fan of it at the beginning, but the more I looked at it, I wasn't really a fan. So I'm very glad that they've changed it now to the new limitless buttons and they've made them black just like the sides so they blend in. Another thing you'll probably notice is on the old S22 Ultra cases, something we didn't have are these ridges on the side. So the mouse cases did tend to be a little bit slippery because you wouldn't really have any grip on the back. And then the sides were quite flat as well, so you would be it would be quite slippery as well. Now that they've included these ridges, you can definitely feel when you're holding the the case. Same thing with the iPhone Limitless 5.0 range. They included these ridges, so you can definitely feel a difference now with the grip. It's much much improved. Now I know I don't have the phone here and I can't test the buttons out but to be honest with you from the old S22 Ultra cases and the I've had a look at mouse cases on the iPhones for a while now the buttons have never been an issue so I don't think these ones are going to be any problem. When you shake the case they do rattle a bit whether or not they will rattle when you have the phone inside I don't know. But I think that's such a minor, you're never going to be shaking your phone like this trying to see if you can hear a slight rattle. So on my iPhone I didn't have that issue, so I don't think there'll be an issue on here. I think the biggest upgrade with the Limitless 5.0 range on the new S23 Ultra cases is the inclusion of MagSafe. Now you may be asking, why is this such a big deal? Well, there will be quite a lot of people that switch back and forth from Samsung and iPhone depending on new releases. And people want to try Samsung and then people want to try iPhone. So if it's someone that has an iPhone, most likely they had some MagSafe accessories. And with the inclusion of MagSafe on these cases, you can use your accessories that you had on your iPhone on this case and on the S23 Ultra. You don't have to give them away or throw them away. So I've got a couple of different accessories here. So this is the Momax portable power bank. And we've got the... UAG portable power bank and then we've got the Magback card card holder I guess with a little section where you can put your finger in and hold the phone so something like this for a big phone slap it on the back fits perfectly fine then you can have your finger in there and then as you're holding the phone you've got that extra grip knowing that the phone's not gonna slip out or anything like that and to be honest the magnet is decent strength nothing too strong but it won't fall off accidentally which is what you want and in terms of the Momax magnetizers on there as well give it a little shake shake perfectly fine so these are great when you're going out and about and you've got a lower percentage of battery on your phone because you can just pop one of these on start charging on the go and uh, let me just try this one just for the sake of it. Same thing. 
magnetizers on there. Really, really great way to um, have them charge up on the side. And like I said, if you're going somewhere where your battery is low and you don't have time to charge at home, pop one of them on and you'll be charging on the go and you'll be fine for taking photos, videos, etc., whatever you need. Now with the mouse cases, of course, we've got that minimal branding at the bottom. Cutouts were fine before, so I don't think we'll have an issue now. We've got the section here if you want to loop a lanyard in there. I don't really know who does that, carrying their phone around their neck or in the wrist, but you've got that option there. And then we've got that aero shock or air shock material going all the way through the case for that shock absorption. And with this microfiber inner, it's going to create a much more snug fit for the device in the case. And that's really what you want. You don't want your phone to be shaken around in the case. Otherwise you won't get good shock absorption when it eventually, if it drops. So the case is quite slim, but even with it being quite slim, you can see the top and bottom give you a fairly big lip to protect the screen and that's always something challenging when it comes to these phones with curved curved screens because unlike an iPhone it's got a flat screen so you can have the bumper going all the way around but with the curved screens it's much more difficult than that so what you need to what they do is they raise the lip on the bottom and the top so if you was your phone was to drop face down you'd have that clearance on the front to protect it against uh, smashing your display by theory. Same goes for the Evolution case with all the upgrades. Um, the only difference is you've still got them teal buttons. And with the Evolution case, you've got this mechanism on the back, which is for their Evolution range. So you can attach it to like bike mounts. There's like GoPro style mounts, all different kind of mounts that are attached there. And then it detaches quite easily as well. And they've recently got a motorbike mount as well. So you can have it everywhere and then whenever you need to clip your phone on, just push it on and it will stay in place. And then you can just unclip it and take it away. Now for the Clarity 2.0 cases, I've got the clear without MagSafe here. And then we've got the clear with MagSafe. They do also do a very nice iridescent, which I'll try and show on the screen here. Unfortunately, I don't have that case, but I did have it for the iPhone. Such a nice looking case, especially when the sun hits it and then it changes colors depending on which direction it hits. But the clear cases are also nice. They don't have the same button as the limitless range, but I haven't had any issues with the iPhone's buttons and it's the same style. And then when it comes to the cutouts, they're exactly the same. Camera protection. And then we've got that front lip as well. I think these cases do go on sale for around $65 to $70 depending on which model you get. However, like I said, there's going to be a link down below which you can go to and there should be a discount code down below which you can use to take some money off your purchase and get yourself a protective case for your expensive investment. Because the last thing you want is to drop your phone and it smash especially with all of it being glass nowadays. So yeah, that was just first look. Like I said, I don't have the phone on me, but I figured it might be beneficial to someone to see what the cases are like as they're waiting to get their, uh, to get their Samsung S23 Ultra delivered. So if you liked the video, do leave a like. It does help me know what kind of content to release. Leave a comment down below what Samsung version you're getting or what phone you've got at the minute and leave a comment what is your favorite case do you like the limitless range the clarity range the evolution range or any of the others and i'll respond to any questions you might have around the cases feel free to leave them in the comments box below i'll reply to anything i can so thank you for watching and i will catch you on the next one